Hello everyone, Namaskar, Raj Krishna this side. So let's solve one more problem from uh, Newton Raphson method. Uh, using Newton Raphson method, find the root of x power 4 minus x minus 10, which is near to. Now, because it's a bi quadratic equation, so there will be four roots, so they have specified that find that root which is near to 2 correct to three decimal places fine so let's write the function first which is x power 4 minus x minus 10 now because it's a newton raphson method we need derivative as well so derivative is four x cube minus one okay now what is, uh, now we will have to check by hit and trial that root lies between which two values. So we check the value of the function at 0. So it is going to be minus 10 value of the function at 1. So that is going to become 1 minus 1 minus 10 which is minus 10 again. Value at 2 is 16 minus 2 minus 10, which is 14, or rather 16 minus 12, so it is 4. So root is lying between 1 and 2. Okay. So to be more precise, let's find the value at 0 0.5. So value at 0 0.5 will be 0 0.5 power 4 minus 0 0.5 minus 10 so this is going to be minus 10.4375 okay So this is the value at uh, 0 0.5, okay, that is 0 0.5 minus 10. Okay. So root is lying between 0 0.5 and 2. So root lies. Uh, Anyway, uh, to make things simple, let's uh, take these two values only. Okay, thing will be simple. Although it's a newton raphson method, so number of iteration will anyway be less. So let's take, say that root lies between uh, 1 and two because the value at 1 is negative, value at 2 is positive, so root lies between 1 and 2. Okay. Now what's next? Uh, which value is closer to 0 out of 1 and 2? So as you can see at 1 the value is minus 10, at 2 the value is 4. So 4 is closer to 0. Okay. That means take this 2 as x0. You can take any value between 1 and 2, 1 and 2 included as x0 but I am choosing the value which is closer, the value of the function which is closer to 0, that value of x I am taking as x0. Now what is, uh, now we uh, have the iterative formula for newton raphson method that is xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f dash xn divided by f of x fine let me take some more space so this is the iterative formula which is x n plus 1 is x n minus f ok I have written the reverse one uh, it will be this f of x n divided by f dash x n okay. so now uh, for first iteration
put n equals to 0. So you are getting x1 equals to x0 minus x0 value is 2. Value of function at 2 is 4. Value of derivative at 2 is 32 minus 1. 31. So it is 2 minus 4 by 31. So this is giving me 1.870 let's write in 5 places now for the second iteration x2 will be x1 minus value of function at x1 value of derivative at x1 so x2 will be x1 is 1.87096 minus value of function at 1.87096 will be uh, 1.87096 power 4 minus 1.87096 minus of 10. So this is giving me 0 0.3824. I am writing only till 5 decimal places. Fine. Divided by value of derivative at 1.87096. So what is the derivative? 4 into 1.87096 cube minus 1. So this is giving me 25.19711. Let's evaluate this now. 1.87096 minus 0 0.38247 divided by 25.19711. So this is finally giving me 1.8557. One more place I am writing fine so let's find the third iteration x3 will be x2 minus value of function at x2 divided by value of derivative at x2 Value of function at x2, 1.85578, 1.85578 power 4 minus 1.85578 minus of 10. So this is giving me. 4.8008 4 values and one more value I'm writing into 10 raised to power minus 3 and value of derivative let's find this that was 4x cube so 4 multiplied by 1.85578 cube and 
and minus 1 was there so minus 1 is giving me 24.56462 let's evaluate this 1.85578 minus 4.8 double zero eight nine multiplied by ten power minus three and divided by 24.56462 so this is okay why is it showing error syntax error I will have to calculate it once again 1.85578 minus 4.80089 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by 24.56462 I don't know why it was showing error with the 10 power x uh, which is written in the bottom of the calculator so I have to use the normal multiplied by 10 power something so now it is giving me uh, 10 uh, sorry 1.8555 Uh, five places fine now if I see because they have asked till three decimal places so anyway I'm getting it matched till three decimal places so I will stop here fine because x2 equals to x3 so our root will be so our root is 1.85 now the last uh, one which we are saying we have to round it off so 85 uh, 5 after that it is 7 here and it is 5 here so in both the cases you will get 6 here so 1.856 you will write correct up to 3 decimal places so this is the root first step function derivative of function root lies between 1 and 2 no need to find a further approximation because these are good values uh, give faith have faith on Newton Epsilon method this will have lesser number of iteration so xn plus 1 equals to xn minus value of uh, function and divided by derivative at xn this is the iterative formula used for first iteration then second iteration and third iteration and because they were matching three three decimal places that was our root which was 1.856 rounded off okay so that's it for today we'll see you with some more problem although i have a playlist on iterative techniques and interpolation go out and check that for more such problem thanks again